Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's fourth part of the series about animation addition, I will show you how to create such popular effects as pin scroll and image sequence. Also, another interesting example, here we have a bottle spinning once we scroll down. So let's now check the first block that we need, which is called sequence animation. Here is it. Actually, any video that we see on the screen is just a set of images, meaning that we can lay out any video and get a sequence of images. In any video editor, you can find an option which is called Expert a Sequence. Sequence must always have a name and numeration, one, two, three, and so on. Then we need to click on replace images here and submit all the sequences from here. When we submit our sequences, it's very important to keep selection order. This means that we cannot select this image, for example, then this one and then the other one. So your image order depends on how you select the images. And it's very important to make sure that they are all numbered and selected exactly in the order of numbering. Actually, in WordPress, there is such a feature that when you upload one image, it creates a whole bunch of other images and their sizes. So that's why for this block, we have also provided the ability to simply indicate links to your images and in more cases, I would recommend you to upload the images through FTP or through other servers and in this field to just paste links to your images with a comma between them without any spaces. So for this video, I have already prepared such links. They are all from Apple website. And as you can see, there is a set of links with a comma between them without any spaces. And also these links are in numerical order. So here is 0000, then 0001, 2, 3, 4, and so on. 130 images in total. And then I will just paste all these here in this field, like this. Then we just need to set out block. So here we have a block size as well as image size. And also we can select image field type, meaning the aspect ratio of the image itself in the block. For example, we'll set here a full width of the block. Then we will set 100% for the image width, like this and also 100% for image high. And we will get such a big block. By default, we have here a duration of one second for the animation, which is very fast. So let's change it, for example, to three. And as we can see, we get an animation similar to a video, but actually this is a set of images that are changing very fast one after another. Also, there is an option to select render type. We can choose between image and canvas. This is more from the technical side, which most often will not affect the result. It will be displayed the same way and it's more needed for speed configuration. This means that with certain images, our speed will be better if we choose images, but sometimes it will be better to choose canvas. Here we can also select image field type, but since we have all our images now on full width, it doesn't really matter. It's more needed when the image is small, for example, 
I will show you now like this. And here we can set how it will be displayed in our container. Here we have trigger options. We have talked about them on our previous video. Here we can set a start and end of our animation and also enable interpolation together with the scroll. So let's now check how it's going to look like on our website. We'll set 0 for trigger start. This means that the trigger start will happen once the website is loading and the user starts scrolling. And let's set, for example, plus equal to 700 for trigger end and we'll set one for interpolation. Here, as we can see, there is such a common issue. The theme doesn't stretch our block to full width. So to avoid this, we need to click here on transform to container wrapper. And then we'll set a full width from here. Now, as we can see, everything is OK. And once we start scrolling, we can see that the interpolation with images works well. But there is a small issue here. So once we scroll, our video goes up, but we want it to always stay in the middle of the screen. So we have an option here, which is called pin while scroll. You can find it here in trigger options. So we need to enable it and let's now check the difference. So once we get to our animation, the block is getting attached to the page and it doesn't move together with the scroll. And once the animation has finished, the block is getting unpinned. And this is the effect that we can see here on the Apple website. So once I start scrolling, we have this block on the screen and then other elements appear and the previous ones are unpinned. Okay, how do we make it so that during the scroll, we have some additional elements on the top of our block? As we can see on the Apple's website, a text appears here and then it disappears. So let's go back to our block. And here we need to create one more block, which is called pin scroll. Actually, it does absolutely the same. It pins elements. However, it works as a container and it has some additional options. To put it on the top of our image, we need to add our image to container. We have already did so. We have a common container that will contain all other elements and inside this container, we'll add a pin scroll. Now we will set an absolute position and 50% for the top. This means that this block will be displayed once the user scrolls 50% of our image. Now it is located somewhere in the middle. And also let's set 100 pixels for the left. Like this. Then we go to trigger options. So since we have said that our image is now at 50%, that is, it makes sense to put 50% here too. This means that once the top part of our element is at 50% of our scroll, our animation will start happening. And it will be 350 pixels long, as you can see here. And the interpolation will happen together with the scroll. 
So let's add here a width so that our block doesn't go beyond the screen. Let's say, for example, 400 pixels. And here we will add a text. So we click on advanced text. We will change the color to white. Like this. And I will just copy the text from here. Probably you will notice a small reflection in the editor, but do not pay attention to it. It's because WordPress in editor loads different toolbars that affect scroll speed, but this is not going to happen on the website. And let's now check this. So, as we can see, everything works well. The block is getting pinned to the screen. But we also need to add such an effect so that it will appear and then disappear. So, in pin scroll block, there is a special option, pin fade effect. We need to enable it and we will change also the trigger end to 150, like this. So let's check now how it works. So as we can see, once our animation starts happening, this block is appearing and once the animation is finishing, the block with the text is disappearing. You can put as many of these blocks on the page as you want. The main thing to remember here is that there are three options that affect the position of the element in the container. So this is an absolute position and a size on the top of our container. In our case, it's 30. And also trigger start here. This is also top 30%. Also, we need to know the number of pixels that our animation will last. It's not obligatory to use pin fade animation. You can add on this block also other animations. So for example, we add here another animation container and let's add a simple animation. So we will set, for example, 0.2 for scale like this. So, as we can see, everything works well. So, this means that we can combine several animations. We just need to put each animation to additional animation container. And the last thing that I would like to mention is that you need to check how it's going to look like on different screen resolutions. So, both for animation container and pin scroll, here there is an option which is called use separate for mobile and here you can use other values that will work only on mobile devices. You just need to click on enable mobile options and add values for trigger start and trigger end here. That's all for today. In our next video, we are going to talk about different effects of the interaction between the mouse and the block. See you everyone in our next video.